Hello everybody, in this video I will show you how I implemented this game map. Yeah, I got this question on a Reddit, so I would like to show you. And as usual, everything is in Flutter is widget, and this widget is called Game Canvas View. This is my own widget. I implemented it myself. So, how I approached this problem. I uh, have, have this map, yeah, it's pretty huge map, as I told you. And, yeah, let me show this because that's the main thing. Yeah, it's called Boplan map. It's a real map from the 17th century. One of the engineers that worked uh, in Ukraine, he did all of this map. So this map is more, uh, is more than 300 years old. And I found, found it in a very huge resolution. It's 6K by 5K. So what I did, I, I took this um, huge, huge image and put it inside stack. Yeah, this is a standard stack uh, from the Flutter framework. And the very first element is this map. And I also gave this image uh, its dimensions, yeah, so it is not corrupted, anything like it's not squeezed, stretched, and so on. And I put it inside stack. Uh, as you know, stack uh, takes um, the size of the stack is uh, the size of the hugest uh, container inside it. So I put it the very first here. So this stack will be the same size as this image. And then I in this inside this stack, I render all of these game elements. Yeah, so one of the game elements is this city on the map. It's called. Yeah, let me scroll down and find it. Yeah, here it is inside the stack. Uh, yeah, I render the um, company, all cities. Yeah, so you see, all cities is the uh, list of. Yeah, let me find this map. Generate all cities. It's a list of all cities in, inside my game. Yeah, that's why it's always static. It does not change. You cannot like add a new city mm, on the, in runtime. And each city has its own point. Yeah, where it should be rendered on, on this huge, huge image. And uh, yeah, gesture detector. I check for when it is pressed. Yeah, uh, later I will show you this logic. How to render this menu. Yeah, and hide this and so on. And yeah, pr pr pretty much how you render these uh, cities. So each each position city has a city on the map. City on the map is a yeah, stream builder yeah, because we need to listen to different events. For example, when the city is unlocked, like here, yeah, it should change. Yeah, for example, let me show this. Boom. If I unlock it, yeah, unlock roots. Nah, you see, it is now unlocked. It immediately refreshed, yeah, because the stream builder it listens to city changes and city got an event like uh, update uh, that it was unlocked and so on and after that i render routes yeah you see these lines connecting the different cities and this is uh, rendered before i render um, cities on the map yeah because the logic of a stack uh, how, how does it know each if this line should be on top of this uh, rectangle or rectangle should be on top so if uh, anything that comes first in the stack yeah, it will be uh, at the bottom of, of, uh, of anything that comes after that so that's why if you render the image first it will be at the very very bottom yeah and then it will render for example this is I use for debugging yeah it will render after that after that on top it will render my city roots yeah here it is city roots so each of these um, city roots it's a again static static list of all of the roots yeah it has from two point and busier point how to how to bend this line yeah to make it more look better on the map yeah and again this is positioned widget uh, that's because uh, each root knows it's from two position so i take uh, from yeah put it there put that widget there from for example yeah and then render so this is the point of one of the endpoints of this route yeah and plus i uh, shift it yeah to 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 fit the center of the of the widget and again it's a string builder string builder because by the way this is pretty old code i need to change it uh, to use a ticker provider instead of this fake you, you see this is like a very rough solution <laughs> how i did it at the very beginning of the game it's a custom painter. It, it is a topic of another video, how I implemented these routes and how you can see that I can send it to Goftva, for example. And you see it's animating and running this busier point. Pretty, pretty neat. Yeah, I, I like it. And you see, thanks to Stream Builder, I will automatically get updated. Boom. 
because any wagon right there is an event wagon right and I get this one plus one here and yeah then I inside then I wrap this interactive widget interactive viewer inside another stack I need it in order to render this back button you can see it hidden below this notification bar yeah I will have to fix this somehow to hide it and I need to render these uh, game elements uh, like there will be settings button there is to switch game modes you see I have to press and open it yeah by the way thanks to coding with Andrea website I did this uh, button he has an amazing uh, animation course so you can go there to codingwithandrea.com and he has a uh, he's still publishing his animation course and a lot of widgets I take from there and uh, how much money you have yeah it's also rendered here so that's why if I for example hide this interactive widget yeah you will see back button rendered at top 10 left zero yeah here another uh, that's selected yeah I render these elements only when I have nothing selected here yeah in order not to overlap the, the widgets uh, so if nothing is selected I render this view it's a position bottom five yeah from almost very bottom left 10 and I render this wood yeah and and so on and also I have uh, for, for the backend purposes I have two uh, utility buttons it's toggle lines what it does it renders these coordinates net yeah this helps me to position for example if I need to place uh, a city here or, or Melnik yeah for example I would immediately see its coordinates are 1700 and 1500 yeah and I just enter it previously I had like 10 to, to try and catch yeah so and by the way you see how beautifully it runs in an emulator I think right now I render like 6,000 uh, widgets yeah of this um, coordinate net yeah and you see how how pretty it runs in a debug mode on a Lenovo i5 Intel inside an emulator yeah inside Android yeah, because it's it always lacks performance and uh, also how I render this selected view it's also interesting yeah let me go so uh, each time I press on a city I uh, update the selected yeah let's select it equals yeah you see each time I press on a city I set uh, selected to this city and how it changes uh, what is rendered so first of all mm, yeah gesture detector let me find it one more time so you see if uh, I render it inside the stack so if uh, selected is not null yeah so if something is selected I render a huge widget you see it occupies the whole uh, the whole interactive view, uh, viewer canvas and what I do I, I listen only to gesture detector to dismiss selected city yeah so anyway I click on a map not not on this yeah but here for example I will click it on an empty space you see what I do I dismiss selected city I set it to null and refresh and re-render yeah and also if it is not null I render this mm, I render this menu yeah so if the city is unlocked like I, like I have here so the city is unlocked I render this menu yeah it's called city selected view we will not go there if it is locked for example like like this city it's locked it has opacity 60 percent uh, I render city locked view because it's absolutely different yeah let me press it it renders absolutely different view yeah it does not render that menu item and again if I press select it is null that's why these these widgets they go away everything is based on streams so I think here stream builder yeah you see that mm, this money listener it, it listens to the company changes I think I can even I can even filter it yeah and listen only to money changes yeah I have these changes company events for example money edit money removed I don't have to listen to wagon bot yeah because there, there will still be some event like I spent money so it will there will be event money removed yeah and this widget will be updated so I can you know improve the performance but actually it's still pretty good I test my game on a Nokia 5.2 with some MediaTek CPU from 2017 it's pretty trash device but very surprisingly uh, it runs quite well it has Android 1 
Android runs there quite good. Uh, some apps, I d just don't even load them. But my game runs, I, 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 you know, I, I don't uh, even notice if I'm running on my S21 Ultra or this, you know, trash device from 2018, Nokia 5.2. So Flutter is pr pr pretty good at, at this at this stage of development and i think that's all so as a, to summarize this is interactive viewer you can go to this interactive viewer official widget again i don't use any third party widgets almost don't use it i added only one page flip animation and uh, what you can do you can set uh, scale yeah minimum and maximum scale let me check it Max scale, I think it uh, controls how much you can zoom in, yeah, 300%. And zoom out, I think it's, yeah, like 10% uh, will be, yeah, of this, of this map. You can modify them and play. Later, I will show you how I do this animation. It, <laughs> I spent a lot of time doing it. So when I open the game, yeah, you see that image is still loading for me. I will have to fix it somehow. But I, I am running this. Yeah, let me have it five seconds, for example. Uh, I hope it will update it. Yeah. So I press. Yeah, I will have to load this image somehow. And you see, it takes five seconds to reach um, from the very, very, very bottom of the uh, of the interactive viewer. So it starts from here and goes and zooms to zooms and pans to to this siege, yeah, the center of your game. Yeah, so we did it like this. So that's another topic. I will show it to you later. Mm, how to do these animations. Uh, I think I have an article on my site, gladimdim.org, so you can read in there. But I will show you also a code walk walkthrough with this, with this feature. And yeah, everything is interactive viewer. Uh, it has a stack inside. Stack is uh, sized by this huge image. And then I render city routes via the positioned widgets. Then I render the city. Each city knows its position on the map. Again, positioned widget is used. And uh, then I just control, war, for example, the state of the stack, what to show here, like hide these buttons, show this menu. It's standard, you know, set state functionality. This, each of these rectangle is a stream builder. It listens to the event of the appropriate city. Yeah, that it shows. If something happens here, for example, if I go back, yeah, go to, uh, I started a new game. If I uh, send it to GoTwa, you will see that now it will show one wagon. That's because Stream Builder got an event. It rebuilt this widget. Yeah, so wagon arrived. So there is an event. Wagon arrived. Boom, you see, plus one. Good. And yeah, I think that's all. If you have other questions, I can show it to you. Yeah, thank you for your attention. Goodbye.